There's an interesting phenomenon that affects many programmers, both beginners and experienced ones. Something that is pretty an easy trap to fall into. Because on the outside, it looks great, but on the inside, it's very dangerous for programmers. Today, we're talking about FOMO. FOMO, or the fear of missing out, can be a powerful motivator, but can also hold us back and prevent us from reaching our full potential. In this video, we're gonna explore the dark side of FOMO in programming and what you can do to overcome it. Let's dive in. First off, what is FOMO? FOMO, or the fear of missing out, is the anxiety that we experience when we feel that others are doing something more interesting or exciting than us, and we don't wanna be left out. In the world of programming, FOMO can manifest in many ways. We may feel that we need to learn a new language or framework just because everyone else is doing it. Or we may feel that we need to participate in every hackathon or coding challenge, even if it means sacrificing our personal time or lives. So what are some of the negative effects of FOMO? In programming, while FOMO can be a powerful motivator, it can also have negative effects on our lives and careers. For example, if we're constantly chasing after the latest trends and technologies, we may never develop deep expertise in any particular area. We may also burn out from overwork and stress or feel that we're never good enough because we're constantly constantly comparing ourselves to others. So what can we do to overcome FOMO? Number one, define your goals and priorities. Take some time to reflect on what you want to achieve as a programmer and what matters most to you. This will help you filter out distractions and say no to opportunities that don't align with your goals. Number two, stay informed but don't obsess. It's important to keep up with the latest trends and technologies in programming, but don't let it consume your life. Set aside a specific amount of time each week for reading articles or watching videos and stick to it. Number three, focus on depth, not breadth. Instead of trying to learn every programming language or framework out there, focus on developing deep expertise in one or two areas. This will help you stand out from the crowd and make you a more valuable asset to potential employers. And that's what matters. And number four, practice self-care. Remember, programming is just one part of your life. Make time for activities that you enjoy, such as spending time with your friends and family, exercising, or pursuing a hobby like jujitsu. So what do you do when you feel left behind? Despite our best efforts, we may still experience FOMO from time to time, and that's okay. But when this happens, it's important that we remind ourselves we're on our own journey. Everyone progresses at their own pace. If you feel left behind, try reaching out to your peers for support or find a mentor who can guide you and help you. Remember, success in programming is a marathon, not a sprint. So there you have it, the dark side of FOMO in programming and what you can do to overcome it. Remember, it's okay to say no to opportunities and focus on what matters most. By doing so, you'll be well on your way to becoming a successful and fulfilled programmer. That's it for now, everybody. Thank you so much for watching this video. Be sure to hit that subscribe button and I will see you in the next video. Peace.